Have you ever pondered over the possibility of a five-dimensional space and how it could change our understanding of the universe? Dimensions are not physical entities but ways we measure physical space. In our everyday lives, we navigate a three-dimensional world, moving forward and backward, left and right, up and down. But imagine adding two more dimensions to this equation. A five-dimensional space would require five coordinates to specify a point. Intriguing, isn't it? Remember, a dimension is not a place, but a way we can move. Imagining a five-dimensional space can be quite a challenge, but there's a way to visualize it geometrically. Let's start with the zeroth dimension, a single point. It has no length, width, or height. Now we move on to the first dimension, doubling our points to two. These two points form a line, a one-dimensional structure. Next, we enter the second dimension by doubling our points once more. With four points, we can construct a plane, a two-dimensional object. Doubling again, we move into the third dimension. Eight points allow us to create a cube, a three-dimensional object that we can easily visualize. To leap into the fourth dimension, we double our points again, ending up with 16. This is where things start to get tricky. We can imagine the fourth dimension as a hypercube, a structure formed by connecting two cubes. Finally, we reach the fifth dimension. By doubling our points one last time, we get 32 points. Connecting these points as we did before, we create a five-dimensional hypercube. This concept is elusive and pushes the boundaries of our imagination. We can't directly observe the fifth dimension. Our human senses are limited to three dimensions. But this method of doubling points and constructing shapes helps us visualize the unseen. It gives us a glimpse of the fascinating and complex world of higher dimensions. Though elusive, the fifth dimension is a fascinating concept that helps us to visualize the unseeable. Why do researchers even entertain the idea of a fifth dimension? You may ask. Well, the answer lies in the quest to uncover a unified theory that harmonizes the four fundamental forces of nature, electromagnetism, gravity, strong and weak nuclear forces. Cue the Kaluza-Klein theory. In 1921, German mathematician Theodor Kaluza and Swedish physicist Oskar Klein independently developed this theory, which intriguingly utilized the concept of a fifth dimension. Their aim? To unify gravity and electromagnetism, two of the fundamental forces. The fifth dimension, in their theory, served as the bridge between these seemingly disparate forces. However, it's worth noting that their approaches were found to be partially inaccurate later on. Yet, their work paved the way for new perspectives and theories, making the fifth dimension a topic of ongoing research and discussion among scientists. In this sense, the fifth dimension might be the key to a grand unified theory. If the fifth dimension exists, why can't we see it? You might ask. Well, the answer to this takes us back to the work of Swedish physicist Oskar Klein. Klein proposed a fascinating idea that the fifth dimension is not something vast and sprawling, but rather something incredibly tiny and compact. Imagine the fifth dimension as a minuscule, tightly wound loop, almost like a microscopic coil. This loop is so infinitesimally small, on the order of 10 to the power of negative 33 centimeters, that it becomes impossible for us to observe directly. It's a bit like trying to see a single grain of sand on a vast beach, but even that doesn't quite capture the scale of it. So while our human eyes and current technology can't pierce this compact loop, it does not diminish the potential importance of the fifth dimension. Though invisible to us, the fifth dimension might be integral to the fabric of our universe. Is the fifth dimension the end of the story? Not quite. The superstring theory, a groundbreaking concept in theoretical physics, suggests that our universe may not be limited to just five dimensions. This theory proposes that everything in our universe is made up of tiny vibrating loops known as strings, and these strings vibrate in a staggering 11 dimensions. Yes, you heard that right, 11 dimensions. This proposition opens up a whole new vista of possibilities, hinting at an existence far beyond our current comprehension. It suggests that there could be more dimensions, each with their own unique properties and characteristics waiting to be discovered. This concept is mind-boggling but it's also incredibly fascinating as it pushes the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. So what if we're not just living in a three-dimensional world, but in a multi-dimensional universe? The fifth dimension could be just the beginning of a multi-dimensional universe.